Do you want a simple solution of keeping your player attached to the ground that can also handle slopes? Well this short tutorial will show you just that. We will be using a raycast to check below our character then offset our character back to the ground. I already have a scene set up with basic shapes. These objects have a 2D collider on them. I also created a new layer called ground which I set all these objects to. I have a player character already set up that can move left and right via transform.translate. This can also work with rigid body movement. We need to add an empty game object which will act as our player's foot position. I'll drop my player into this empty game object and make sure the visual's bottom lines up with this object. We need one more empty game object, which I'll leave towards the center of my player's visual. This game object will be our raycast origin point, which it is important that it is above our player's foot object. Create a C-sharp script, which I'll call ground check. You can see I have four variables set up. You can see three of my variables have a serialized field tag, which just makes it so I can create a direct reference in the editor. The first variable is a transform called raycast origin, which will store our raycast origin point. The second is a transform called player feet which will store our player's feet transform so we can use its position. The third is a layer mask called layer mask which will be used for our raycast to help make it more performant. The last variable is a raycast hit 2d called hit 2d which will store the data collected from our raycast. We don't need the start method so delete it. You can see I created a new method called ground check method. We need to store our raycast data which we do by setting hit 2d equal to physics 2d dot raycast parentheses raycast origin dot position comma negative vector 2 dot up comma 100 comma layer mask. Our raycast origin point is where the raycast will originate from. The negative vector 2 dot up is the direction we want our ray to cast. This may vary depending on how you set your scene up. The 100 is the distance we want our raycast to travel. This can be adjusted to fit your needs though. The layer mask just tells the raycast to ignore everything that is not under this specific layer, which saves on computation when there are a lot of objects on screen. I call an if statement which checks if hit 2d is not equal to false. This is just another performance check. In the if statement I created a vector 2 called temp set equal to player feet dot position. We want to get the new position to move our player which in this case we need the y position of our raycast hit point. This is why I take temp dot y set equal to hit 2d dot point dot y. Lastly set our player feet dot position equal to temp. Now call our ground check method in the update method. Save the script and head back to unity. Attach the script to our player object. Fill out the fields in the script by dragging in the raycast origin object and the player feed object. Select the ground layer from the dropdown, start the game up, and you should be able to traverse any terrain with this setup. With this all complete, you can find that I shared the project file down below using a GitHub repository. I hope this helped out, and if it did, don't forget to leave a like and comment on the video. If you made it this far, you made my dog Tuna very happy. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe.